Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am Book Love Lorna, and it's review time. Now, today you will see from the title of this video, we are talking about The Gilded Ones. Now, this is by an author whose name I honestly don't know how to pronounce. I would say it, I said this in my February wrap up, I would say it like Namina Fauna, but I think that it might be pronounced Namina Fauna. So I'm not entirely sure. So for that, I I do apologise because I'm not 100% on that. Um, but The Gilded Ones. This is a book as part of a series called the Deathless series, I believe. I don't know how many books there are going to be as of yet. Um, I did try and, you know, give it a Google and I, I don't think Google knew. So I also don't know. Now, this one I did pre-order in December time, I think. Pre-ordered it from Waterstones um, because I knew that I was gonna get it. Basically, I'd seen loads of like booktubers and everything talking about it and I was like, this looks like a bit of me, this book does. So I thought, definitely gonna jump on that bandwagon. And I went to, you know, have a look at some pre-orders I wanted to make and I realized that the Waterstones Special Edition one um, was actually like discounted to either the same price or slightly cheaper than the normal one. And this is signed. So I was like, well, obviously I'm gonna buy the special one. So first things first, let's just look at the cover. I can actually show you as well what the normal one is like because, yeah, long story. Um, I'll tell you that in a second. But this is the one that I've got. So essentially we've got a gold spine, although, just a slight side note, that has started to rub off from my holding of it like this. This is how I read. So just here at either side, it has, oh, I don't think this is helping at all. Can you see? Don't even know. But around the edge, it has started to come off a little bit, but that's fine. Obviously, you know, I did read this for like just over a week. I took it quite steady. So obviously, you know, there's gonna be wear and tear. So we have, gold edge just here and then the edges are sprayed with a gorgeous kind of like bright green sometimes I kind of think it's a minty green but it's not it's got a lot more it's a lot more grassy than that I think on the camera it looks kind of minty tealy no it's not teal is it? it's not blue at all I don't know what color that is um and then the front cover just here um you can see well I don't know if you can this is like gold foil as well on mine, which is gorgeous. Like I absolutely love that. Look how the light catches that. Um, so it's really cool. Let me show you the other, like the normal edition. I've just, <laughs> I've got a blanket on my lap. So let me just like get out from my granny hibernation. <laughs> so basically what happened for me to get this second book is that I was ordering from one of my favorite uh, bookshops, which is in Bath called Mr. B's Emporium and I needed to like order more to make up for free delivery so I just clicked on like surprise what did I click on surprise YA fantasy no I don't know if it was that something along those lines to get me into the free delivery section and this is what came and I was, I was 50 pages into my edition. Um, so I have two copies of this now. So this is the like non-special edition version. Still got those beautiful um, sprayed edges, which we love, we're a sucker for sprayed edges. Um, and then the front, you can see there's no kind of goldy bits. It's still a beautiful cover, um, but I guess just doesn't, you know, catch the light. So let's put them side by side. It looks like the writing is bigger on my one, but I don't think it is. So you can see the difference just there. So this one's just a little bit plainer, but still, you know, still very nice. So yeah, that's the, the look of it. Now, if you don't know what the book is about, I'll just take you through a little bit of that now. Essentially, um, it is about a girl called Decca, and she lives in this society where it's... It's very much, this is very much a feminist kind of female empowerment kind of book, but basically um, Decca lives in this society by where when you come of age, and I think, was it 16? I feel like it was 16. When you mature as a woman, um, you have to go to this ceremony. 
So if on the day of Decca's blood ceremony, her blood is red, then she's absolutely fine. She can be a member of society. Um, from that point onwards, she actually has to kind of cover up and remain masked or become masked because until you succeed, you don't, you're not masked. But after that, you know, you're allowed to get married and do stuff like that and be a part of society. But if you're on your as part of your blood ceremony your blood runs gold then you are impure and you are a demon um and you have you are immortal essentially um because of that you know you are seen like i say as a demon and you are like, outcast from society and society will try and remove these people by killing them um and essentially it's what happens to decca from there she gets recruited into uh, what is the Emperor's army. So Decca's challenge, I guess, is to see how she can use her impurity and her skills in order to, you know, help other people and become part of this army and get away from her own kind of village where she's completely outcast, not even, you know, her father wants to know her own name. So it's very, very dramatic. It's very interesting. Um, there is an awful lot to this story. Now, I swear every single scene every chapter has action in it there is not one chapter that is wasted there is constantly something going on and I think that uh, the author does a, such a good job actually of constant attention to detail without excessive depth you know when you read a book and it is just so over described and you're like I don't need to know this this is ridiculous well she doesn't do that but she manages to give you just the perfect amount of detail that you need to get the visuals on the story and to feel like you're you're there kind of thing you're not because this is an alternate you know kind of universe but the attention to detail is just astounding and like I say no wasted chapters you know, constant action, you're jumping from one thing to another, you do feel a bit dizzy at times, you're like, whoa, so much is going on, but you can just tell that this is actually, oh, if you didn't know, this is actually going to be adapted into a film uh, that was announced a few weeks ago, and I think it's just going to be amazing, it'll be so mesmerising. I think that when you're watching like the film adaptation of this, you won't even be able to like look away from your phone, there's just so much jam-packed in there, and it's very, very good. I guess kind of a side note from Namina Fauna's like attention to detail without being in too much depth etc etc I also want to say that I think just from reading this book she is an incredibly skilled writer like this just impresses me so so much the the time and effort that must have gone into like planning this book is you know like whoa mind-blowing but also her skill as a writer which no matter how much planning you do you sometimes you just you know if you haven't got the skills then that's it you know it's still going to be a mediocre story well this is definitely not a mediocre story you know the writing is so powerful she is an incredibly good writer I will say that because of the constant kind of excitement that is jam-packed in this book it's definitely going to be one that I'll need to reread because even though I paced myself because I wanted to like capture as much as it much of it as I could there are still bits that I missed 100% I'm gonna reread this at some point and you know in the next year or so and oh sorry we've got some sun issues here and when I reread it I'm gonna have a completely different experience because I'm gonna notice things that I didn't notice before and I didn't pick up on um it is you know so good that you just can't absorb it all in one go um even if I sat and gave this well to be fair when I did read it I did give it a lot of my attention I really that's why it took me so long to read it um but no matter if you literally locked stuff in the room and this was the only thing that you had in front of you you still I don't think would capture every part of this book that's why it's so brilliant like there is so much going on it's so good so yeah I guess if you couldn't tell I really like this book and obviously I gave it five stars super super enjoyed it um very very enjoyable kind of dystopian feminist novel um very impressive and I would definitely recommend that you read it I'm very much looking forward to the film adaptation and the second book in the series so some definitely something to look forward to so this was one of the hyped books of this year and 
100% I would say worth the hype. Please let me know in the comment section if you have read this book, if you're planning to read this book, what your thoughts are on it. I haven't really seen too many people that I am like friends with read this yet. So I'm very interested to see people's thoughts and you know, uh, have a little chat about that. So yeah, drop a comment in the comment box or send me a message on Instagram. I wanna have a chat with someone about this book. And that is the end of my review. So thank you very much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you all soon. Bye.